So after the first round, I got right back to work, refining everything, getting it tight for tonight. Uh, but some things happened recently, and it feels like for me to not talk about them, it would just feel dishonest. So now's the part in the movie where the comedian's like, screw this, I'm going off book, I'm going to tell you what life is really like. Uh, and in the movie, it kills. Uh, don't know how it's going to go tonight. Um, but I will try to make it funny, because in addition to this being a competition, uh, I don't want to take for granted the fact that you, as the audience, don't have to be here, so. Uh, and don't worry, I'm not going to do the Miss Maisel thing and flash it at the end. Uh, so I started taking Adderall 14 years ago. Uh, now Adderall, for those of you who don't know, um, <laughs> the generic name is amphetamines, okay? Not methamphetamines, that's got an extra carbon and three hydrogens, so completely different. <laughs> so I just started college, and I went to see the therapist, uh, and she was like, a student not on Adderall, do your parents even love you? <laughs> Incidentally, the answer was no. Um, but I was like, I, I don't know, doctor, I mean, I made it this far, do you really think I need it? And she said, well, you know, John, a lot of people don't realize how much they need it until they start taking it. <laughs> Looking back, she was really just describing addiction. <laughs> like right now, I don't feel like I need heroin, but if I did it for a few weeks, I'd be like, turns out I need it. <laughs> so it turned out I needed it. Um, so I did that for 14 years. And then recently, um, I was having trouble getting in to see my therapist. I couldn't get an appointment, I couldn't get a refill, and eventually I ran out. Uh, so I've been dealing with withdrawals from that. Um, and then I came to find out the reason I couldn't get in to see my therapist is because he had committed suicide. <laughs> yeah, so the man tasked with showing me how to be happy killed himself. So my 2020 really hit the ground running. Uh, unlike when my therapist hit the ground. Uh, he would have been okay with that joke. We used to laugh about suicide all the time. In retrospect, maybe a cry for help. But uh, I wondered why he started paying me, you know? But no, it, it has been tough. I mean, in addition to him getting me the drugs, uh, I did care about the guy, you know? If I had seen him recently, uh, I would have invited him to be here tonight. And like a lot of my friends, he wouldn't have shown up, but uh, at least I would have known he had a good excuse, you know? <laughs> I'm John Lonis. Thank you so much, guys.